Hey everyone, welcome to 2024. <laughs> um, this is going to be so much fun this year, you guys. I've got so much that's on my calendar uh, to plan out and do with you all on this channel. And today, being January 1st, I have been doing nothing but cleaning house, <laughs> um, trying to reorganize. So in 2024, I want to start a minimalist journey. And so I've been kind of going through everything in my garage and in my house and rearranging and cleaning. I have a living room reset that I've done. I gotta finish that off and I have a couple dishes here today I made um, french fries and some chicken patties for lunch and so I just have a few dishes I do need to sweep and clean up my kitchen though and I would like to clean up all of my countertops so I thought I would just bring you guys along with me here so I do want to do this cleaning really quickly Let me show you what my sink looks like right now. Look at that hot mess, you guys. Hot mess. So I'm going to clean out the sink real quick and run the garbage disposal. And then I will have a clean sink. your sinks at home um, every time I do dishes I like to rinse out my sink and that's including wiping off around the sink the nozzle and um, just everything that I can so it will shine like the top of the Chrysler building. Just like in the movie, Annie. I'm even going to clean out my soap dispenser here. I'm going to make this into my cleaning rag now for the rest of the kitchen. All right, guys. I have been doing laundry downstairs, and I put away all of my Christmas stuff for the most part. I have a couple more things on my um, dining room table. I thought as I'm doing this reset in the living room, I might as well move on to the kitchen and kind of do a reset for the kitchen. Um, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. My sink is now all cleaned up. 
and I'm ready to move on to the next thing. Okay, 2024, I really, really wanted to do a minimalist um, kind of clean through of everything I have in my apartment. And so um, what I have done is just a couple weeks ago with you guys, I did the decluttering underneath the sink um, cabinets right here. I have moved my brown um, can organizer to over um, here right next to my living room and I like it over there. I need to kind of go through and declutter some of this over here. Um, this is all of the stuff that I need to clean out um, from my kitchen counter. I need to pick up and clean this and figure out what I'm going to do with this. Um, I'm really seriously thinking about getting rid of it. I don't know. Um, I also need to do something with this microwave. I don't like it here and I need to um, do something with that. Um, all of this right here need to declutter. Put away all the dishes I've done a today and clean up all of this and um like i said you guys i really want to move everything around and make things minimal i just don't know how to do it i don't really don't know how so um you know i'm gonna get to work and see what we can do i also need to sweep the floor i got leaves leaves you guys in my floor from yesterday going out and celebrating the new year with my son and so um yeah, first things first, I have some Tupperware down here I would like to get rid of. And so what I'm going to do is put those all together, put them in my drawers here, keep what I want to keep, get rid of what I want to get rid of, and declutter my Tupperware once again. So um, I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. Okay, guys, um, that did not work out very well. I can show you what I got done on my Tupperware cabinet, but um, you guys, I got all of these that I had, and look at the tabs. They have fallen off of every single one of these lids. I only actually had two that actually could work, and um, then I got these measuring cups I can take out to my property. And I had these goggles that I had from the Dollar Tree. And um, the latch on it has broken off, you guys. Um, I am going to be able to keep these glasses, however, and just tie them up. And you're probably questioning, why does she need um, swimming goggles in her kitchen? Well, I don't know if you ever tried this hack, but it is very, very good to um, wear these when you are cutting up onions. If you can't stand it, um, you put these on and it will help with the um, crying. And so I am going to keep them and I'm going to put these in my um, drawer here and we'll just um, keep those as my onion glasses since the latch broke on them and um, you know it's just one of those things that I had in my garage and I was cleaning up my garage earlier th um, this afternoon and realized that hey you know what I can still use those goggles even though that latch is broken and we can't use it for swimming but I can use it for onion cutting so I'm kind of super excited that I am able to keep those and put those in my drawer. So let me show you what I got as far as my Tupperware, but I'm very, very sad that I'm getting rid of all of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. And then this is what I have perfect for me. Um, I don't need a lot of Tupperware and I do have some in my fridge that I will be able to clean out once the food items in those containers have been emptied and when I clean out my fridge I'll be able to wash those and put them back here in my Tupperware cabinet. This is what I have left in my drawer after going through it the other day with you guys and um, so I'm super excited. 
Um, as I'm on the floor here, I'm going to move all this trash over and kind of see what I have in this cabinet over here. Um, I don't think there's anything in here I want to get rid of, but I do want to double check. I have my mini muffin pan and then my regular muffin pan and another round mini muffin pan and then a round cake pan. I also would like to put my um, banana loaf pans in here as soon as I find those, but I think they are underneath my um, oven right now. And then this top cabinet here, I have my blender, my toaster, my old magic bullet. You guys, my son um, uses this new blender now, the magic bullet is broken so that I can declutter. Yay! I'm so excited to be able to go on this minimalist journey with you guys. Okay, as I was cleaning out that cabinet, um, I have found several of these uh, drink things that, these drink cups that go with the magic bullet and um, or the new blender. So I don't know which ones go to which, and I'm going to have to test the magic bullet. Um, I think what my son had said, the magic bullet was still working. And um, I have all these lids that I found. So I need to find out what all of these things go to. And um, like this one here, I know I'm gonna take to the camper. And, um, if I find out my magic bullet is actually working, I am going to take it out to my camper and whatever accessories go with that magic bullet is going to go to the camper. If I find out the magic bullet is not working at all and it's leaking um, when I do um, my drinks, then what I will do is um, throw it in the trash. I'm not even going to give it away to the thrift store if it's broken. Um, so... You guys, I'm decluttering a lot already just by getting rid of the thing that doesn't work in my kitchen. So I'm moving on now to underneath my stove. And I know I have my cake pans here and my pizza pans. Here are my muffin tins. And so I'm going to put those in this cabinet here. Uh, the small cake pan is also going to go in this drawer and then now underneath here um, it's going to be just the big pans that do not fit in this cabinet here and so um, i'm going to declutter that real quick and then we're going to move on to that cabinet right there okay what i ended up doing was putting all of the small pans in here and then my big pans went under my oven and that way everything is all nice and organized in this cabinet on to the next. Okay, this cabinet here, you can tell, is overflowing. What I would like to do is take these out. Um, these are my casserole dishes, and I would like to move them over to my drawer um, above my Tupperware drawer. And let me show you what I get done as I declutter this cabinet right here. Okay, as you can see, I cleaned this cabinet out, and this is what all I have in this cabinet and so I need to clear it out um, I also had these in that cabinet and these are what I'm going to put over in that drawer there and these I'm going to put back in here nice and neat so the first thing is my mixing bowl and in this cabinet here, I'm going to put all of my casserole dishes. So let me do that real quick. Okay, now I have all my casserole dishes under the bottom cabinet here. I have my mixing bowl here. I have my other measuring mixing bowl here. And I actually probably could stack these on top of each other and push them to the back right there i also have my dicer um, slicer and the attachments here 
So that is going to go here on this top shelf with my mixing bowls right there. And then I also have my cheese slicer and the uh, cutter and bottom slicer here. So I am going to also put those on shelf right there. So this is now all cleaned out and I'm really happy with the results. Um, I do have this extra refrigerator organizer that I am going to keep and find a use for it inside my fridge. I have these placemats that go in my oven and I am going to put those here on the side. Nice and neat there so I can have it for whenever I am ready to bake. All right, thank you guys for joining me on this video. You guys, I am getting things decluttered. Yay! 2024 is just gonna be complete declutter until everything is done. I am going to finish cleaning up the rest of my kitchen, minimalizing the countertops and my kitchen table, and then I'll show you the final um, end result here in just a second. All right, everyone, this kitchen is clean. It's clean, look at it. It is clean. I'm just so excited, you guys. I've got everything all cleaned up, organized, and Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year! All right, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, tomorrow we're back to the old grind mill. <laughs> going back to work so um it's gonna be a good year i just got a feeling it's gonna be a great year bye